Hello, everybody. This is Terry Nance, and I want to welcome you to 8 Minutes Strong with the Armor Bearer. I pray that these are blessing your heart. You know, it's a joy for me to come into your life, and uh, wherever you're watching this, on your iPhone, computer, uh, wherever you're at, or on YouTube, I just pray that it ministers to you. And I really, if you're enjoying these, subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button. And then also, go to GodsArmorBearer.com. It's real simple. I have all my books, Armor Bear 1 and 2. I have Armor Bear 3, Run With Your Pastor's Vision. I have one that's called Awaken, Letters from a Spiritual Father to This Generation. Then I have the new Armor Bear book, which is called God's Armor Bear for the Next Generation. And I've, I've spent my life pouring into the local church and building up the local church. And it's all about the local church. And I pray that the Spirit of God just encourages you as you see this and hear this. Uh, this week, I've, I've just been sharing really on ministering yourself, ministering to the Lord. I'm talking about, I'm talking about encouraging yourself to, in the Lord, which is so important. And so I was reading uh, I was reading from uh, Ephesians chapter 5, and let me read this real quick. How do we stay full of the Holy Ghost? How can we confront all the challenges and the issues that are facing us? The Bible says this, that we are to speak to one another in the Psalms, the hymns and spiritual songs, singing, making melody in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God for the, uh, for the Father and for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we do this, we are, we are, we are going to allow the Holy Spirit, which is on the inside of us. You're, you're opening the cap. You're letting it out for Him to fill you, spirit, soul, and body. And here it goes because it says, "Speaking the Psalms." Now you've heard me pray those Psalms. I, I prayed them yesterday. Just some Psalms. Just go to the Book of Psalms and begin to do that. Then it also says, you know, just make melody. By singing spiritual songs. Making melody is an incredible word. I want you to know that. Who's going to make the melody? Well, you have to make the melody. You have to rise up and in faith. And I know one day I had, oh my gosh, Kim and I were running a mission organization. And in one week, it just seemed like all hell was breaking loose. Everybody was having problems. I remember at the end of the week, I just kind of put the phone down. I was like, God, what in the world's going on? Have mercy on me. And I just kind of grabbed my Bible and opened it up. And I was in Ephesians chapter 5 and began to read it. And then I hit the word making. And here's the truth. The melody's in us, but you have to stir it up. You have to make that melody. And I know at that time, the Spirit of God <laughs> spoke to me. He said, get up, start dancing. And I'm just telling you, I'm no dancer, but I did. I got in my office, shut the door, made, made sure nobody was looking, and I started dancing before God in faith. And you know what? Just a peace came over my life, and I just began to worship God and praise Him. And you know what? It was it was over a period of time, but all those things got worked out, and it's, it's the way life is. You know, not everything is from the devil. Uh, sometimes it's just life. It's just doing life. Uh, kids, you know, gosh, I, one of my kids would always leave their homework at home and we always had to get it and go take it. Now you say, and that wasn't the devil. That was just, you know, the fact that my child couldn't remember to grab their homework. And so it always was like, or couldn't remember to take their lunch. I can't tell you how many times I had to go up there and bring my lunch because they forgot their lunch. And, you know, that's not the devil. That's just life itself. And, and we live in a world that are full of problems. And these things come against us. And so God is telling us, the Holy Spirit say, you got to be full of the Holy Ghost. These things are going to happen. And you stir yourself up in the Lord. Sing and make melody in your heart. Do spiritual songs to the Lord. And that is just simply you opening your mouth and by yourself and just going, Lord, I praise you, Lord, I love you. You're everything to me. I magnify your name. I glorify and worship you. Now, I, I'm just doing that. And you may say, well, I just feel like you need to have some anointing. No, you tap into the anointing when you begin to do that. And you do it by faith. Then he said, and in everything, 
give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. You know, and I shared this last week on giving of thanks, and there's more that I want to share about the giving of thanks. But I want you to listen to this incredible word I want to give to you today, and it's found in Isaiah chapter 30, 18. And therefore the Lord earnestly waits, expecting, looking, and longing to be gracious to you. This is how the Amplified, but think about that. God longs to be gracious to you. So if God longs to be gracious to you, then you know what ought to come out of our mouth? Well, then so be it, God. You just lay it on me. You can, you will always keep your promises, and I thank you that you long to be gracious to me, and I am lifting up my voice in Jesus' name, and I'm going to receive it. And it says, he lifts himself up that he may have mercy on you, showing loving kindness to you. For the Lord is a God of justice, blessed and happy and fortunate it are all those who earnestly wait on you, who expect you, long for you, for his victory, his favor, and his love, and his peace, his joy, and his matchless, unbroken companionship. Uh, man, what a powerful verse that we can hang on to. His mercy is on you. His loving kindness is reaching to you. And the Bible says, in everything, give thanks. Now, I think we're all smart enough to know. I don't thank God for the hurricanes. I don't thank God for, you know, my house flooding. I don't thank God for any of that. But I thank him for his goodness in spite of what is going on. But because when I thank him, I am releasing an atmosphere for God to work. And the way we do that is through lifting up our voices and praising him. In everything, give thanks but this is the will of God. You know, it's a very interesting word. You know what the word will in the Greek means? It means decree. In everything give thanks, for this is the decree of God. Now, why would the Holy Spirit say that? You know, when we're complaining and everything, you know what the Holy Spirit's saying? Give thanks. When you're praying, give thanks. When you're walking, give thanks. When you're at your job, give thanks. Why is that? Because that's how he gets involved. That's how you lose him into your world and into what God wants to do with your life. I pray today this has just been a word of encouragement to you. I'm telling you, shut this off and just start ministering to the Lord. Start singing, start worshiping God, because today, I'm telling you, is your day of deliverance. In the name of Jesus, you be blessed. You be blessed in everything you put your hand to. God, God is on you. His healing power is flowing through you. In the name of Jesus. And thank you so much for joining me today. Go to GodsArmorBearer.com and, and grab my books and material. And I pray you have the best day you've ever had. Thank you.